It's your niece's birthday. Yeah. Give me Proverbs 3.31. Right? Because I love you. Right? Read real quick. All right, just get, give me three minutes. You, you got a watch on? Do you even know what time it is? It's 12, it's uh, 12.53. Give me five minutes. Read. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his way. So if I got a, a Lamborghini and I pull up and I get all that Lamborghini and I got a, I got a, a diamond watch on, I got a diamond bracelet on, I got a diamond necklace on, I got the freshest Jordans that you ain't nobody else got. The, the flyest jeans with, with a stellar belt, right? You're going to envy that. That's envy, right? Brothers, envy that. But let's see what God says about envying. I might not envy. I might tell you I like your appearance. Or uh -huh. I like your style. But I got my own type of style. I got my own type of appearance. Well, most of us going to envy, right? Somebody who got a, a multi-million dollar house right in front of you. I ain't got that. I ain't got enough. I ain't got no Slurpee. It's hot out here. Did you say, hey, bro, you, you want something to drink? Oh, it's hot out here, right? So envy comes in various forms, right? But let's see what God says. This is about birthdays, right? Read. And be thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. God says don't choose none of his ways birthdays are not our custom number one not, they're not our custom right give me Job chapter 1 verse 3 verse 4 we're gonna go through this quick real fast Job chapter 1 verse 3 and verse, verse 4 and 5 Job chapter 1 verse 1 verse 4 and Ver verse 4 and his sons went and feasted in their houses everyone on his day so on his day is their birthday so on their birthdays, they went and they had a feast for themselves, right? But God says that we can't make, we can't make ourselves idols. For an example, you just told me you have to leave from, a, from in front of your brothers who are teaching you the scriptures so that way you can now go and give reverence to someone else, to give attention to them, right? For an example, when you turn 20, if someone who you care about don't call you and say happy birthday, that's going to make you feel a certain way, right? You say, damn, why they ain't call me? That's, we put ourselves up on as an idol that day, Un, unknowingly, but it's true. That's why in our heart we feel a certain way when we don't get that gift or that telephone call, right? Read. And sent and called for their three sisters. So they got their whole family, the brothers, the sisters, read. To eat and to drink with them. So they had a party, a birthday party. This was their day, read. And it was so when the days of their feasting were going about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. So Job, he knew his sons. So how you doing, sir? How you doing? You're the eldest out here. How you doing? What's your name? All right, Langhorn. What's your name, sir? Langhorn. Langhorn, my name is Amir. So these brothers, they bought to leave, right? But they bought to go celebrate a birthday real fast. Oh, I ain't, right? ain't going to be able to hang around long. I understand that. I got my cup. Uh, but, but I thank you for coming by. But I just brought that out just so you can know what we're discussing right now. Right. We're discussing birthdays in the Bible. Okay. Right? So Job's sons, they went on their day and they got their sisters, they came to the house and they had a feast. So that's a birthday party, right? right. Read. So read that last part about what Job did. That Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning. So Job called his sons and his daughters. He rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. So he offered a sin offering, a burnt offering for their children, right? This is the reason why. For Job said, it may for Job what? For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned. Have what? Have sinned. So Job said it may have been my sons have sinned. They have led my daughters to come and celebrate feast day, uh, a birthday in their house and sin and made themselves an idol. Was that it? Free. And cursed God in their heart. In their mind, meaning if you don't, if, I, if your son or your daughter or your, ne your relative, someone you care about, don't call you on your birthday, you, in your mind, you feel a certain way, like, damn, they forgot my birthday. Even leading up to it, I wonder what my wife is going to give me, right? In our minds, we put ourselves up as an idol. So that's what Job sacrificed for them. Read that last part about what Job did. Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned uh -huh. and cursed God in their heart. So Job, he did that because he wanted to send a prayer up for his sons because he didn't raise them up like that, Job, one and one. Job chapter Who one and Job? verse one. Who was Job? There was man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job, uh -huh. and that man was uh -huh. perfect. Uh -huh. That man was what? Perfect. So Job was perfect. So Job did that because he raised his sons up and his daughters to be perfect. Sons are the leaders, right? So he raised his sons up to be perfect, meaning don't keep that birthday. So Job had to do that for them. Was that it? No, sir. 
and upright and one that feared God. What one that did his own thing and put himself up as an idol? No. One that did what? One that feared God and eschewed evil. So to fear God is to keep his commandments. So God hated everything evil. Job chapter 3 and verse, uh, give me verse, verse 2, verse 3. Job chapter 3, verse 3. Let the day perish wherein I was born. So Job said that about his birthday. He said, let the day perish when I was born. He, Job understood that it's better if our day of death than our, our day when we are born. Why? When we die, we don't have to worry about I ain't got no money to get to the store. I ain't got no money to buy my lunch. I ain't got no money to buy myself the best clothes. When we die, we ain't got to worry about that. Our spirits go back to the Father when we die. So better is our day of death than our day of, of birth. Free. Let the day perish wherein I was born and the night in which it was said. There is a man child conceived. So there's no reason, there's no reason to give any more reverence to that day. Was that it? Let that day be darkness. Let not God regard it from above. So Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. He says, let that let not that day be regarded as above. Why? Because Job understood. Job's sons and his daughters was taken from him. And Job remembered that his sons and daughters were in sin in the past. That's why he had to give burnt offerings because they were putting themselves up as idols to be worshipped on their day. Read. A good name is better than precious ointment. Uh -huh. And the day of death than the day of one's birth. God says a good name is better than precious ointment. Good. What does ointment do? Clifford. Ointment heals the body when it's sick. Right? A good name, your works, your actions are better than that. That's what God is saying. He's not even talking about our day. Our day should not be significant. Right? He says, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Don't choose that. Choose life. You've never heard it before. But I'm going to give you what God says. You've never heard it before. Finish it. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. That's why. It's better to go to a place when everybody's mourning. Why? Because in our affliction, we seek God. When you're going through something, when your grandma's sick, when your brother's sick, when your neighbor is sick, what do you do? You go to God. That's why it's greater in a house of mourning. Because our minds are on God and not on our birthday. Not on self-worship, uh, uh, self-idolatry. Does that make sense? Finish it. For that is the end of all men. And the, Jeremiah 7 verse, verse 19, get it. Right? That's why. Birthdays is idolatry. Right? Brother, keep the commandments. Right? Don't leave a young man. I know, I'm not sure if you, you're only 14 years old. You don't know nothing about slavery. That means you don't know nothing about our heritage, about who we are as a people. That's destruction. They've destroyed our young, our young boys. That's why you turn your face on me like that. I'm your elder. I'm trying to teach you about your history. You can't tell me nothing about the slave ships, about shackles, about what our, what our people went through. Clifford, how old are you? You're 28, you see that? 14 years old, he, he didn't know nothing about slavery and he's walking away. This is the place to learn about who we are. You just now learned not to keep your birthday. Read on. Jeremiah chapter seven, verse 18. Read. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire. So the children are gathering wood, so that way the father can make a fire. Read. And the woman near their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. And the women are doing what? They're, they're stirring up the dough so they can make cakes. When do we have cakes? Birthdays, right? Cakes are happy. We have cakes for birthdays. But who's doing it? The women. This is a woman thing. Unfortunately, back then, our men were involved. They, they started the fire. Free. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods. Other gods. Was that it? Yes, sir. Read. That they may provoke me to anger. So birthdays provoke God to anger. Was that it? Free. Yes, Do they provoke me to anger, saith the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? So that's, that makes us confused. That's why they leave it. They still don't know who they are. Still don't know. Why? Because they're stuck in self-worshipping. Was that it? Yes, sir. Finish. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place. Now, what's going to happen upon this place? What's going to happen is our people have shortness of life because of that. Just like Job's family perished early. That's, that's going to happen to our people. And idolatry. They're taking away days of their life. 
because they're keeping birthdays. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.